photo for me. I hope you like it. Your nose took my eye out, Doug. Call an ambulance. Help! Oh, I'm gonna make, 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 make. Feel that rhythm and grab that beat. Everywhere you're never done. Shout and stop on the street. Oh boy, the 90s. Let's conveniently forget anything bad was ever broadcasted. You may notice my vocal clarity is off. Things will be back to normal next video, recording in a different place. On to the topic, Nickelodeon, the greatest channel ever in the 90s, has existed since 1977, where they played other company-created cartoons. But in 1991, Nickelodeon started their first three own original Nicktoons, premiering on the same day, Ren and Stimpy, Rugrats, and Doug. Anyone remember Nickelodeon's Doug? It was like the 90s version of Charlie Brown, except even less funny. It's a slice of life show about Doug's elementary school and family life, being the only Caucasian guy in a world full of rainbow-skinned humans. Though remembered fondly by most 90s kids, what surprises me is not a lot of people bring up its unusually morbid Christmas special I'm making this video on. Dear Journal, Funny how on the brink of the best holiday of the whole year, the worst thing that could possibly happen, happened. In a world full of colored pe people of color, one white man with not enough guilt. Doug Funny in Doug's Christmas Story on BHS. Featuring a ho ho lot of Doug. This tape has only two episodes included. That is a ho ho lot of nothing. This is the minimal amount of Doug you could get. Who decided how little to put into this tape? EA Games? Challenge everything. But look how happy Doug is. What whimsical Christmas tale shall this VHS chronicle? The I no longer believe in Santa story? The not knowing what gift to buy his friend Patty story? Nope. Doug's Christmas Story is about his pet dog Porkchop getting euthanized via a lethal injection after biting a girl. Merry Christmas! That's me! It's just a nice Charlie Brown day at the frozen lake. The kids skate the day away, secretly depressed at the imminent threat of back to school haunting their winter break. They try blocking out the fact school starts again next week, but it's just a sad reality they face. The stupid rich girl BB Biznatch wanders into thin ice, ignoring all warning signs, even when Doug's dog, Porkchop, tries his best to stop her. Go away, Porkchop! I'm busy! BB, you idiot! Porkchop's last resort is to drag that hoe like she be talking shit. I guess that. But from everyone's perspective, we can see how this could be misconstrued. The whole town, including Dog, Doug, has turned against Porkchop, which, really, can you blame them? The children of Bluffington are safe from this, this brutal train killing machine. That brutal killing machine. It's a pretty good conflict, they wrote. This isn't one of those talking animal cartoons, so Porkchop is caught up in this humongous misunderstanding with humans who think he's dangerous and can't understand him. Let's go! Porkchop! Porkchop has been detained and now has charges pressed against him. Not the family that owns him and didn't put him on a leash. Porkchop himself is put under trial. This dog that doesn't talk is trialed as their own person. Sure, okay. Luckily, the court trial is still days away. Should Porkchop lose the court case? Euthanasian. Who's an Asian? Euthanasian. Everybody knows Porkchop's a nice dog. That's it! We can get everybody to say what a nice dog pork chop is. Doug ain't gonna let this go. His only solution as a 90s kid is to make a petition to show support for pork chop. Yeah, a petition. That'll work. It did a great job bringing back your show. Nice going, Disney. We have a city to rescue! Doug is coming at you next, right here on ABC. Don't mind me going on a tangent here. For anyone confused, Doug started on Nickelodeon, ran from 1991 through 94, ended two years later in 1996, continued on the competing Disney's ABC channel of all places for the one Saturday morning block. Anyone remember that? Five hours of summer.
this was the only time anyone saw Doug as a valuable asset. Disney in their big evil corporate airship thought, hmm, you know what? Rugrats, Ren and Stimpy, Avatar, not good enough. Doug, that's what we need for ourselves. Hell yeah. From what I've encountered, fans seem to hate this version and the changes made. My memory on Disney's Doug is a little fuzzy, so I got my sources from a very trustworthy Tumblr post. Feel free to name any changes we may have missed. The Disney version had Doug in middle school, his bully Roger was a millionaire now, the honking noises Skeeter made were confirmed to be a mental disorder. <laughs> Several episodes expanded on Doug's involvement with Foxhound. They had the Shengon Wu from the previous series, but they had to be renamed for licensing issues. Doug had a baby brother called Duke. Skeeter became a Black Panther. The inside of Doug's house was made out of human body parts. Patty was a ghost the whole time. She had organic web shooters. Rice balls became donuts. Quail Man snapped Roger's neck. The series ended on a Jonestown-esque mass suicide, while Mr. Dink fell into the Honker Burger's deep fryer. And lastly, Doug's appearance in Kingdom Hearts 2 was fun, yeah, but it retconned much of the Doug canon previously established. Overall, the continuity of the Disney series was a mess. It's important now that you're going to be an older brother to know where babies come from. You really wanted to talk to me about sex? Oh, yes. I learned all that stuff in school. You did? Yeah, sure. Now, let's get back to discussing the Nickelodeon Christmas episode. <laughs> Now, let's get back to discussing the Nickelodeon Christmas episode. I warn you, it's a good episode, but I'm gonna spoil it. So if you're not caught up with the current Doug canon, you may want to marathon it. <laughs> Doug creates a petition to show support for Porkchop. Hardly anyone in town is willing to sign said petition. And then there's this asshole. This is Christmas. It's no time for petitions and legal business. This is supposed to be a happy time. This is not happy. Save it for after the holiday. But by then, it'll be too late. You should have thought of that before. I don't even know what to say. Screw her. Well, the town hates them. But surely the labia media will give a fair analysis on the incident with a very unbiased dramatization of what occurred. Hello, doggy! <laughs> oh, yeah, pop chop is fucked. Sorry, Doug. Depressed, beaten, and balding at the age of 10, Doug is unable to talk with the victim, Bibi, but tries for her millionaire father, Mr. Bluff, who obviously hates Porkchop and wants nothing to do with this. Porkchop didn't mean to hurt Bibi. Well, I think we'll let the court decide whether putting an innocent girl in the hospital is just playing with her. Once again, it's a great conflict they set up. You can't blame him for hating the dog that put his daughter in the hospital. Unless you're Batman, practically every other cartoon portrays the rich guy as irredeemably awful for no reason. But here's a guy who's just like, yeah, you do the same assuming a, a dog attacked your daughter. I would stick to that, though this next thing he says makes me kinda hate him. I just don't like dogs. They don't have any money. They don't even know what money is. That's no reason to take it out on Porkchop. It's a perfect reason. He's a dog, isn't he? What an asshole! I know it's a joke, but the joke kinda interferes with your perception of his character. In less than a minute, he started angry but understandable, the next became a caricature of an evil billionaire. Then again, why am I analyzing character depth in Doug? But he's not just a dog, Mr. Bluff. He's like my best friend. Best friend? What happened to Skeeter? I thought Skeeter was your bestie. You put your pet dog over your one black friend, you honky ass bastard. If you don't have a black best friend, how are you supposed to make yourself feel less guilty for posting racist comments online? Take my advice, young man. Get a new best friend. I guess all hope is lost. Doug convinces himself to break pork shop out of the pound by making a cupcake that a guard eats and makes a toxic gas cloud. <laughs> I believe this confirms Doug is the only Nicktoon that has ever resorted to chemical warfare. 
as far as I know. Very, very bad dogs. Oh, no. What? All right, out you go. No, no. please, watch out. Pug, you ducked up. <laughs> It's the day of the court trial. This is their last chance to save Porkchop. How bad could this be? <laughs> Crap, she got the sympathy vote. Isn't she a brave little girl, ladies and gentlemen? Yes! Ooh, elementary school girl almost got eaten by a dog. How brave. I don't see her serving in the military, asshole. Well, this court case looks hopeless, but it's Christmas. Surely we'll have a Christmas miracle to save Porkchop and prove his innocence. There's always a miracle in Christmas. It happened to Tiny Tim, it happened to Charles Manson, it happened to the Smurfs, and it's gonna happen to Porkchop, right? 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 Nah, just kidding. That's just Doug's imagination making him fear things that often never happen. They proved Porkchop was protecting BB, they have Christmas dinner, and Doug gets a hipster ass banjo for Christmas. I don't know about you, but I don't like the looks of that tree topper. And that was Doug's Christmas story. Not really a Christmas story, just a story taking place around Christmas. I guess this means Doug is the diehard of animation. So, Happy New Year, and Mary Shelley Frankenstein to you all. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let Happy see. Holidays from the Rugrats and Nickelodeon. We didn't save the receipts. Huh? We can't take it back. <laughs> so get ready for two hours of the Snicktoons Christmas gift pack. Merry Christmas! <laughs>